All right, so I want to go ahead and eject that disk. And now that it's ejected, I want to disconnect my FireWire cable so that's out of the way and start working with the camera to get it set up to work on the network. Now, uh, you need to set an IP address in the camera in order that you can connect to it directly. Uh, and to do that, I'm going to go into the menus, uh, lower menus as we always did before, and uh, check out uh, the IP address that's set in there now. Now, it's in the maintenance menu, so I'll click into that, and then I go down to number 22, network. And we see it's there. Now, uh, right away, DHCP disabled. We probably want to have that disabled if we're going directly between the machine and the computer. Uh, my IP address is 192.168.1.10. OK, I know that. Write that down. And my subnet mask is 255.255.255. OK, we got it. So let's go ahead and connect the network connection, the network cable, just a standard Ethernet cable between my machine and my computer. So, network connector, in we go, and into my machine on the other side, and it starts blinking away. Good. Now, important, turn off the menus. It won't work unless the menus are off. We'll learn that the hard way. All right. So, there we go. And now on my machine, all I have to do is load up an FTP browser. Let's get started with that. All right. So, back on my computer now, I'm going to load up an FTP client. I have a small client called Fire FTP. Load that up there. There you go. And you see set up in here, I have a XDCAM camera preset already in there. But I want to show you, I want to edit that. This is actually set to 192.168.1.10, same IP address we saw on the camera. And we have a login and password set already. I did this beforehand, but I'll show you what it is. The admin is the default login, and the password is PDW-700. That's PDW. Dash 700, and that what that is is the default password. You can change that through the FTP interface, but um, uh, by default it's set to that, and we're just going to leave it alone because it's easy to remember. So hit OK there, and when I hit Connect, and right away I'm connected to my machine. And, and on, on the camera side it says the word network. You can't see that, but it says network right now. Uh, and I see on there clip, edit, general, sub, and so on. So I already have my information there. I can take this information and quickly just grab it and download it to my machine through the browser. If I wanted to do that, I could say, for instance, if I wanted just to get one individual clip, hit download there, little arrow key. This is a download option. And off it goes onto my desktop uh, at a really fast rate of download. We're using Gigabit Ethernet, so it's very fast. So I'm going to go ahead and let that go. Uh, but that's how you access it through the network. It's very fast, very easy to do. Both the FireWire and the network interfaces work the same in the deck in the PDW HD 1500. Uh, same interface, same basic principles here. We're just using the camera uh, instead of the deck. So let's pull out the uh, PDW U1 drive here. Uh, this is a simple single disk reader uh, with a very simple interface, USB and power on the back. I'm going to go ahead and connect this drive directly to my computer here uh, so that I can read a disk directly. Um, power and USB here. Pop it in. It's on and ready to go. Now I'm going to go ahead and insert a disk into it. Off it goes. Now on my machine, all right, back here, I want to go ahead and close out of this browser, hide down, down there, and let's see what happens. Reading, and voila, I have an XDCAM disk. It just looks like an external hard drive here. I click on that, and I can see I have a couple folders there, General and Pro AV. Actually, the, the structure is a little bit different when you attach the U1, but in your Pro AV folder, you still have all your clip information and so on. Um, and if you load the XDCAM transfer software up again, it's actually going to do the same thing. Here's some clips I have on this disk. Uh, it, it found it right away. And I can do some general information with this as well. Again, very simple way to connect your data to your computer without uh, I mean, a camera or, or a deck. Um, this is great for all, all kinds of applications. So that's how you connect these, these different devices to your machine. I hope this helped a lot. And I'll see you next time.